Your fate is already decided. Alright, so Zafina's hidden tarantula stance transitions. So if you guys don't know what a tarantula stance is, it's basically her down 1 plus 2 creepy spider stance, um, kill it with fire kind of stance, exactly. Uh, but how do you get into some of the stances that are not listed in the command list, right? So basically, let's start off with her down 2, 4, 3. So you guys might have seen people use this move a lot, down 2, 4, 3. Long range move uh, has a lot of good range. The string in itself, in, in the entirety of itself, is minus 14 on block. But uh, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, that's a, that's a story for a different day. Uh, so if you if you do down to four, it put it fo force transitions you into a mantis stance. So the force transition into a mantis stance is minus 22 unblock. If the opponent is anticipating that move, he can launch punish you or punish you appropriately with so many moves because it's minus 22, right? But what he wouldn't anticipate if is that if you if you do down to four and if you hold down. It goes into a mantis stance. Sorry, a tarantula stance. Tarantula stance mix-ups can be anything. So if it, it could be uh, a low, which is a one counter hit knockdown, can be three, can be three four, or so many various things. Sky's the limit. Next on the list is her running four. Her running four is basically, as you guys guessed it, it's a slide. But her slide is different as compared to other normal slides of the game. So this is what it looks like. So that's a slide, uh, you, have, you have to run more than 4 steps which should be pretty obvious by now. So what makes this slide uh, different? What makes this slide different from other slides in the game? I'm going to show you right now. And hold down, that goes into tarantula stance. So she can transition into a stance from a slide, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, a uh, lot of mix-up potential again, and so many things you can do. Uh, this should be pretty obvious. It's not a hidden move per se, but uh, I, it's not listed in the command list. I'm just going to show it to you guys. So basically, when you guys crouch, and if you do 1 plus 2, she goes into her stance, uh, tarantula stance. Uh, keep in mind, this stance can be also done when standing, which is obvious, but this is something that I found, or most of you might have known about this thing, but I just want to put this out there since it's not listed in the command list again. Um, yeah, hold down, front, down 1 plus 2. Um, Tarantula stance. Next is a really interesting move. Uh, let me see if he's on block. No, he's definitely not on block. Um, let me put him on block. Okay, so Scarecrow stance 1 plus 2 plus 6 on hit and it comes out at 17 frames. Good thing about this is even if it's blocked or if you want to do some other uh, crazy ass mix ups from there, uh, you can press 1 plus 2 and then 1 and down goes into a tarantula stance. So mix ups from there as well. So like a snake edge kind of thing. And so many other things that you can do from it. Um, yeah, that basically concludes it for Zafina's Tarantula Stance mix-ups. Oh, also I forgot to mention that Scarecrow 1 plus 2 is a counter hit launcher. Just wanted to put this out there since we are on the topic anyways. And yeah, that's basically it for her tarantula, hidden Tarantula Stance transitions. So next on the list we have her Mantis Stance. Another widely used move is her Mantis Stance, which is crucial for all Zofina players to master. Mantis Stance can be accessed by pressing down 3 plus 4, for example, with that. So down 3 plus 4 looks like a Mantis Stance. Mantis Stance can also be sidestepped to the left or right, just a little side note. So it can be uh, sidestepped to the foreground and to the background. So what are the hidden transitions into Mantis Stance? So let's go over down back 4 or down back circle. Down back circle look looks like this. So that's not the end of the string. Down back circle or down back 4 is a counter hit, counter hit launcher which is uh, which is a low mid string uh, which looks like this. So down back 4 into 2. That is counter hit launcher. So what? how can you transition into Mantis stance by pressing down back 4 and holding down? So the perks of using this move is that if you will, for example, for example, this is just for example, you can use it in various styles or however you want to use it, but uh, just for the video's sake, if you whiff down back 4, you can easily go into uh, Mantis stands and do appropriate mix-ups from there. Next, uh, we have down to 4, which is down tri uh, triangle circle. So as mentioned in uh, tarantula stands, by pressing down to 4, which is minus 22 on block and forces you into a tarantula stand. So this is one of the ways to get into tarantula stands. But Fear not, when it says minus 22, 
uh, if people like do not know how to punish it appropriately, still you can go up for different setups or uh, combo potential. So another move is her Crouch 3 or Crouch X on the PS4 controller. So what Crouch X looks like is like this. When you crouch and if you press 3, she, it gets you into a knockdown and if you hold down, uh, down forward, when you're doing that, it puts you into a, a mental stand. So keep in mind, if down forward or uh, Crouch 3 is blocked, uh, it, he, it cannot uh, transition into a stance because you get stunned and it, you cannot transition into a stance and you are heavily punishable by launchers or anything. So yeah, that's one of her, uh, one way to get into a stance from down or crouch 3. Next on the list we have down 3. So down 3 looks like this. It's a natural, it's a, it's a counter hit knockdown and once you go into a counter hit knockdown if you press down, it leads up to a combo potential. I'll uh, demonstrate to you guys right now. So it's basically down three, counter hit, boop, 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 and whatever. Just This is just a sample combo, but uh, it can do various things from there. Uh, even if it's, uh, I think if it's blocked, you cannot go into a stance because it, I think it's minus 22 or minus 20. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, that's one way to go into a stance which is not shown into a move list. So down three, and if you hold down, goes into mental stance. Um, Next, we have Tarantula 4. So, basically, going to Tarantula, if you're into Tarantula stance and if you press 4, it forces you into uh, Mantis stance. So, again, mix up potentials, set up for different combo stuff, and whatever you want to do, sky's the limit. So, another one in Tarantula stance is 3. And if you hold down, uh, so 3 is in itself minus plus 7, I think? It's a plus 7 mid, so it's a really good one. So plus 7 mid and if you want to go for mix ups or if you want to go for high risk high reward kind of thing. So Tarantula 3 and hold down goes into the mantle stance and from there you can either do a launcher or whatever you want to do. And uh, finally next we have a really important move or a really abusable move that most Zofina players use. Or it's or you have to use it to actually so it's basically 4 4 3 plus 4. 4 4 3 plus 4 is minus 11 in block. Which means it can be punished, yeah, but in most cases people don't react to it fast enough. And not only that, when you press 4, 4, 3, plus 4, you can go, if you hold down, it, she goes into Mantis stance. And again, leads up to a lot of OK situations, combo starters, uh, or any any traditional uh, OK situation that you want to go for again. So yeah, that basically, that covers it for uh, Zafina's Mantis stance. As for uh, as as for scarecrow stance, there, there are not many hidden moves, and I think there are no moves, no hidden moves that go into a scarecrow stance. As far as I know, uh, there are no hidden moves that go into her scarecrow, scarecrow stance. Uh, for those of you who don't know what scarecrow stance look like, basically three plus four, it's like this. So uh, if you guys know any hidden moves for trend of her scarecrow stance, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that being said, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. Peace. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream?